So now that you've seen my launch platters, <clears throat> launch platters have to be plugged into a base. I have three different bases. Here's one of my bases, it's very simple. It cost me a total of $20 to build. And you can see it consists of just a couple of pipes and let me show you how it goes together. Okay, so you can see the pieces that I have here. I have uh, three PVC pipes I put together in the middle with some T components. I, uh, I don't know what they're called, T junctions or something, and a couple of end caps. And this is it, again, um, about $20 worth of parts, uh, PVC clamps, and actually the launch rod only was uh, about $20. So very inexpensive pad, but let me show you how this goes together. I use this pad whenever I want to do like a special launch where I'm only launching one type of rocket. Sometimes like a club launches where they have, you know, some kind of club or something that says, oh, we got 50 alphas that we want to launch. Well, I only need one pad, one type of pad to do that. So let me show you how this goes together. Okay, I forgot to mention that uh, this particular launch pad actually has the feature that because these are put together with clamps on the end, I can very easily tip it back and forth. And you can see I could angle the launch platter off in a different direction. Uh, this particular pad can only support tipping back and forth. But uh, what's really nice is that if you want to move it to a different angle, I just simply kind of kick it around like this. So, okay, and now it's pointing that direction. So <laughs> it's a very simple pad, easy to make, and it's uh, fun to use. Okay, so here we are in the final configuration. I have my launch rod. In this case, it's an eighth inch launch rod, and it's four feet long. And I have the launch platter that I talked about in the previous video. See, it just drops right on there. And I can tip with either the uh, swivel on the base or I can tip with the swivel in the platter. But this is made for platters that might have a fixed um, uh, connection on it. So you can use either one. And again, this whole idea is that this is modular. But uh, this is the simple configuration for this particular launch pad. And I've used it plenty of times whenever I want to launch a whole bunch of rockets that are all built the same. So let's move up to the next launch pad in the next video.